with Marty McFly. Please welcome to the Live Ride Studio, Rodney Adkin. If you're going through hell, makes me want to take a back road. Makes me What's up, guys? Uh, might we say Mr. Number One again? Yeehaw. Rodney Atkins, <laughs> congratulations. You've Thanks got yourself Yuns. a smash hit on your hands. All the incredible listeners. The song, when it came out, though, it was a little bit different. Did you purposely try to say, I want to do something that is Rodney Atkins, but maybe a little different vibe? Mm, well, yeah, we kind of approached the recording process a little bit different this time. Mm. We did purposely try to record so it sonically mm. had a different sound to it. When I heard the song the first time, you just hear that different kind of kick pattern. The second time, you start hearing a little gravel in my travel and George Strait 1982 and makes me want to the, the, you're bouncing with it. Third time I listen to it, you just keep getting rewind. You're, you're going, there's something that makes me feel I don't. I can't explain this. This is a going through hell kind of song. It really takes you somewhere. I think it's a pretty special tune and it just took off thanks to the greatest country music listeners in the world. On some of these songs, far Farmer's Daughter, Going Through Hell, Take a Back Road. When you got done with it, did you say, I think that's got a shot at being a top five tune? Does that even come into your thought process? It's either going to connect or not. And with this album, we set out to definitely go back into that mode of don't follow a trend, just follow your heart. And I know it sounds trite, but really that's the best way to get something that relates. You were telling us earlier that you went to the baseball all-star game, is that right? And you we took did. your son? Elijah just turned 10 years old. Baseball crazy. Got the opportunity for him to uh, actually shag flies during the home run derby at the All-Star So game. he's one of those kids out there. In yeah. Phoenix. I would say was the, one of the dumbest things I've ever done. <laughs> You take your kid to the All Star Game, you're thinking, boy, man, you're being super dad here. Yeah, your kid. getting mm-hmm. him on the field, and you got you take him to this little back entrance, and they you check them in, and they go out, and you kind of got to let go. Well, then you go into the uh, you know the dome, mm-hmm. Phoenix, because it's 170 degrees outside <laughs> in the shade. <laughs> yeah, you see your kid, and you're trying to take a picture of him, but he looks like he's about a half an inch. And then you got Prince Fielder hitting the ball 1,000 miles an hour. <laughs> And you start, oh my God, what have I done? I put my kid in the middle of a bomb field out here. Elijah, run for your life. Get out. Run. Nice. Nice. I'm proud of you, son. I know you got to run. Thanks for stopping by. Congratulations. Go out and get 